Do you want to get a custom status, just like these on the screen? Well, stick around for the end of today's video, so that you can learn how to do this yourself. Join these two Discord servers, which are on the screen right now, and be sure to comment down your current Discord status, and I'll pick the best one. Let's jump right into the video. So today, we're going to be using Premid, which is a third-party application, which basically allows you to have a customised status. Those of you who use Discord, you'll probably know that Discord doesn't really give you that much customization with your status. So having this, you can kind of make things look a lot cooler. As you can see, there's a couple on the screen to give you like an example. So to do this, firstly, we're gonna just download Premid. So you wanna click the link in the description below and it should take you to this page. And then when you've opened it up, all you need to do is click this downloads button right here. So once you're on the page, then you just have to scroll down to the uh, application part and you'll see this is just basically downloading Premid onto your computer. And it's absolutely fine. It's been tested by millions of people. People use it all the time. It's a pretty trusted like software. So you just click this and you have to wait four seconds for the ads to go. This is just their way of basically earning money because it's a free software. So then you wanna click skip up the top here and then it should let you install it here. Now I'm just gonna install it. I might already have it installed, I don't even know. But if I just click save, you'll see at the bottom here, when you've installed it, it should appear. So you just wanna click this and it should open. And if I drag it onto my screen now, you should see this on your screen. Then you just have to click next at the bottom here. And then it just gives you like an agreement. And if you want to read the entire thing, you can. So I'm just gonna click accept right here. And then you wanna go down to next. And then it just tells you that it's about to begin the installation. You click next and now it starts to install. So once your installation's finished, you can choose to have a desktop icon. And if you wanna be able to find it easier, I suggest you have it, but you don't have to. Have it so it launches the app as soon as you open your PC. If you want to do it so you don't have to keep opening it every single time when you want to have it, like just have it so it automatically opens. And then you obviously want to have the present store so you can actually add things to your status. So just make sure all three of these are ticked and uh, just click next. And there you go, you've installed it onto your PC. And now you need to install it as an extension on your web browser. So you wanna go back to this downloads page, which we were on before, but this time we're gonna go down to the extension part. And for this, you're just gonna select which search engine you use. So for me, I'm gonna use Chrome, but if you use Firefox, click that one. If you use Safari, click that one. So I'm gonna click Chrome, and then you just have to wait four seconds for the adverts, and I click skip, and then it should take you to this thing here. And then all you have to do is just click add to Chrome. As you can see right here, it's just added it to the Chrome. So when you see this page, it just means you've done it correctly. So now you just wanna click start using pre-mid at the bottom here. So you'll see it take you back to the page we were on before, but this time you're gonna select features, and then you wanna click visit store at the bottom here. It'll then take you to the massive list of different like applications. You can see you've got Discord, Google, Instagram, Twitter, Roblox, Steam, etc. And all of these you can actually put onto your like Discord profile. So if you're on Instagram, it will basically appear what you're looking at, like what posts, what user you're using, or if you're making a story, I don't know, like your posts or whatever. For Google, what you're searching, Roblox, what game you're playing, and Twitter, what you're looking at pretty much. So you wanna click custom status right here. And you'll see it should take you to this little page here. So now you want to click add presence right here. And then it will add it to your like discord. And then you want to click this visit page here. And this is really important that you go here. This is where you actually set up the entire custom status. So before we actually make this to actually have it appear on our discord profile, we're going to need to change one setting in our discord account. So to do this, you're going to click the settings down here. And then you're going to go to the game activity, which is under the gaming settings. You click that. And then you have to just make sure that this thing here is green. The display currently running game as a status message. So this is so that Premid can actually put your custom status on your Discord account. You'll see it's not put anything yet, but for me it's actually put the playing the game, the custom status, but we haven't actually made that yet. So if we go back to our Google, you can see that you can add the upper text, the lower text, an image, a smaller image, and different things like that. So for a detail, we can put maybe subscribe, and then the lower text, to fleet which you guys should all make sure that you've done so yeah make sure you've actually subscribed but then you can choose the larger image so you can have any of these on here some of these are quite cool so you have the pepe sweat which is pretty sick actually i'm probably going to leave it as that one but you can see there's an angry stick man you've got the coffee you've got the esl i have no idea what that is extreme thinking you have mobile so yeah, there's quite a few. So we're just going to go for the Pepe Sweat, if I can find it. There we go. 
And then you can add a small image, which is the thing which will appear underneath the, like, like a little badge sort of thing. It will appear underneath the larger image. So you can choose any of these. You don't have to actually have one, but I'm just going to do it anyway. I do a do not disturb right there. And then you can just now either add a timestamp or you can finish. Now a timestamp is basically this little counter here underneath. And some people like to flex when they get like 23 or 24 hours or even three days. I've seen some people have three days, yes. You can choose to have that or you can have it so it times. So you can set a time in the day. If you select the clock right here, you can choose a time when it will turn off the status. So I'll probably have mine turn off at 11 o'clock. So I'll set that and you can see that there's 1 hour and 36 minutes and 20 seconds when the time I'm recording this until it's 11 p.m. I'm also now going to show you the other ones so you can have the YouTube one, the Twitter. I'm just going to show you one of those. I'll probably do the Twitter one. So if you go back to the home page, if you go to features again and then go to visit store, You'll see this opens and you can just select whichever one you want. You can have multiple of these and I would suggest having as many as you want if you use Discord quite a lot. But I'm just going to do Twitter for this so you can click Twitter here. So when it's opened, you just got to click add presence right here. So when I open Twitter, it should change my status. As you can see, when I'm on Twitter now, it says I'm browsing Twitter and if I open anything, so my profile, you can see viewing the tweets of Fleet. By the way, if you actually do use Twitter, be sure to like follow me. I'm nearly at 100 followers on Twitter. I tweet regularly, I guess. So if you want to get the chance to have alerts on videos and different things which I tweet, be sure to follow it. The link is in the description. So yeah, that's the uh, custom status. I'm going to show you now the one we just made before, this custom one here. If I now close Twitter, it should now appear as the custom status, which I now can, you can see on the screen. You have custom status, subscribe to fleet and the Pepe sweat emoji. So you can see it does work. So now the advantages of Premid. Well, it gives you more customization with your status. It allows your profile to stand out a lot more compared to other profiles. So for example, if I compare my profile to someone else who doesn't use it, as you can see here, my admin Sam, he doesn't use Premid and you can see my profile stands out a lot more compared to his. Another cool thing is that your friends are able to see what you're doing and also other people as well. So they can see what videos you're watching, what you're looking at, which I think is quite cool. The only disadvantage that I can think of, if you have a PC which is a little old, maybe struggles to run games, might probably not the best thing to use pre-mid. Because it's open in the background, it may affect your performance. But if you're idle, I guess it's okay. So that's the end of today's video. I hope that this helped you guys out a lot. And if it did, be sure to drop a like. And yeah, subscribe if you would like to support the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.